From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We are the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. I done our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's one 800 5 800 tom one 800 Five eight hundred eight six six. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are together at Cal on the Radio with an email from a listener named Leland. And here's what Leland writes in to say. He says, A few days ago, my girlfriend and I were having a conversation. Actually, she was talking to me. About one of her friends who was having a difficult time with her husband. The wife, that is my girlfriend's friend, was angry that her husband wasn't romantic enough. And she wanted to be wine and dine before every sexual encounter. By the way, I had a woman like that. She uh, couldn't bear to open her legs unless I opened my wallet. She was flipping out. What am I supposed to do? You're going to roll over and have sex with you? Do you think you're going to romance me at all? Or are you going to... He had finally had enough, says the email, and moved out of their house on a trial separation basis. It seems that another female mutual friend heard of the separation and was interested enough in him to go over to his new digs and give him a, shall we call it, housewarming present. Of course, it was some of the lower price spread, if you know what I mean. Well, his wife got wind of it and was pissed. Well, here is where it gets interesting. I asked my girlfriend what she thought of this. Here is her reply. My girlfriend said, if I were her, I would take him for any penny he's got. After listening to her reply, I'm thinking... This is the mindset of my girlfriend? No remorse about the lost relationship? No thoughts on how they could get back together? No thoughts on how they could go to counseling and work this out? Instead, it was all about how I would take this guy for everything he has. So you should tell the guys to listen to the words of their girlfriends because they will tell you exactly how they are. Now, Leland... The first thing I want to say to you before we get to the subject you bring up is why haven't you broken up with your girlfriend now that you know how she really is? Seriously. Why in the world are you still with her? Anybody who feels that way is somebody you don't want to be involved with. Anybody who thinks a woman deserves to take a man for every penny he has for any reason, which includes having an affair. Any woman who believes that, that's trouble down the road, and it's time to get out now. Time to get out now. Leland, I don't know why you're still there. It is time to get out right now. Right now. But let's get to the issue at hand here. This whole idea of whining and dining. Uh, guys, this is another red flag. If a woman tells you that she needs to be romanced, this is trouble. And I've had these women, okay? Not just the whining and dining. And by the way, women are great at whining. I'll tell you what. And if you look at the, uh, the spread on some of the backs of those uh, floral print stretch pants, they're also pretty good at dining. But... 
Nonetheless, listen to me. Pay attention here. If a woman tells you she needs to be romanced, what is that? You're supposed to read poetry to her before you have sex with her? You're supposed to tell her how wonderful she is before you have sex with her? You're supposed to tell her uh, what? How much you love her every time you have sex with her? This is somebody who doesn't particularly care about having sex with you or isn't particularly attracted to you. These are signs of trouble. Oh, yes, I was with a woman at one time who uh, just insisted on uh, having sex on nights when we were going out. To, why can't we do it after we come home from dinner? You know, we go out, we have dinner, have a bottle of wine, then we come home, we have sex. Why can't we do that? And my response to it is simple. If we ever go to dinner and we drink some wine, we can do that. But there are sometimes I need sex now. I don't want to have to go to this GAT survey, look up a restaurant, make a reservation, write it down in my appointment book, and wait until we have dinner in order to have sex. Are you kidding me? What you've told me is that you don't like sex with me. Well, you don't care if we have sex, or you don't like sex with anybody. But whatever you're telling me, it isn't good. Any woman who tells me she has to be romanced every time, every, now again, I'm not saying if you're married, you can't once in a while do something, quote, unquote, romantic. I am saying that a woman should be ready to give a man what he wants, when he wants it, when he needs it, and that's it. In return, if you demand some of that, uh, you know, major motion picture romance, with dinner and leftovers that are put into that uh, tin foil and shaped into a swan or whatever. If you need that once in a while, all right, fine. Jesus. But the point is, we need to get laid more than, you know, once or twice a week when we're going out to dinner. That's just the way it is. And I say, if you're with a woman who says, you don't romance me enough or you don't take me to dinner, I want to be wine and dine. You, if you hear that, it's time to go. That is when it's time to go. The first time you hear that, you tell her this is non-negotiable, and if she won't budge, it's time to get out. Right? Dumb like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Like yes. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Oh, your girlfriend can say things that, if you pay attention, it will tell you everything you need to know about her. I wish Leland would understand that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Candace on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Tom. I just want to tell you. You could, you could, you could, uh, you could, you could, you could, you could use a contraction. You could say I'm awesome. You're awesome. I love it. You're great. You, there's a lot of misguided men out there that need your help and need to listen to you because yes. they just don't know. Anyways, let me tell you straight up. There was something you going over her so head. You are so right on the point that that women. They don't really like you. If you need to take them out to dinner, if you need to do all that stuff before you get them in the bed, they're not really that into you. They just want to, you know, have a free meal, free drinks. They just want to do that. You know, if if the girl's really digging you guys, I'm talking to all the guys out there, you don't need to take them out. You can just go get them some Taco Bell or McDonald's and they'll give it up to you because that, you know, that's the bottom line. That seriously is the bottom line. And you're right on... On a lot of points that you say, not not every one of them, but on a lot of them, you know, it's it's really true. It's really true. Yeah. So if a woman insists on being wined and dined every time, it's because she's just not into you. Yeah. That that's and that's, that's, that's somebody you should dump. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. But but on the whole point, I mean, but a lot of women they just they just want to feel special, you know. But that doesn't mean you have to go spend that. Like seventy dollars at Olive Garden for them, 
It just means, you know what? Just tell them once in a while. They're pretty. Tell them once in a while. Pick up your dirty laundry. Do the dishes. You know? That should get a woman in the bed. That should make them feel appreciated. Right? Jeez, you and your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just so excited to talk to you. Oh, I'm my. right now. <laughs> you keep saying the F word. That's what it's doing to you. <laughs> no, but but it's true. It's true. If, if you got a woman out there, you know what I mean? Like, a well-educated woman. I mean, yeah, you know, like... They, they like to feel special, but it doesn't mean you have to spend money on them, you know? Like, kick it old school. Make them a mixtape, something like that, you know what I mean? Then, you know, that, that'll that get the gears going, you know? That's just what I think. I don't think we should have to do anything. If we, You know what? I'll tell you what. If I can give you an orgasm, you don't care about any of that stuff. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's true, right? So if I have to make you a mixtape, it's because sex with me is not all that great. (laughs) That's true, Tom. You're right. You're right. You see, here's how how it works. When I give a woman an orgasm, she does stuff for me. I don't have to do stuff for her. That's true. So if I'm with a woman who insists that I do stuff for her before she's going to let me have sex, she's telling me we don't have chemistry. And if we don't have chemistry, better to just get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Tom. You're right. I mean, why should I waste my time whining and dining my way into a miserable relationship? Yeah. Hey, hey, you can't say that word. I understand, but dear, I can't take any more chances. Unbelievable. But it really is true. When women say, well, you need to romance me, you need to wind me and dine me, what they're really saying is sex with you isn't that interesting. These are women who need an orgasm very badly. And I would say if a woman tells you that she needs to be romanced or she needs you to write poetry or she needs you to give her a foot rub or she needs you to give her a back rub before you can have sex with her, she's telling you sex with you is not her cup of tea. Better to just get out. You're never going to change that situation. People either have chemistry or they don't. And I say if a woman needs to be taken to a restaurant in order to have sex, what kind of foreplay is that? Just get out, right? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Terry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, Terry? Me? Hello? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just wondering, uh, in in circumstance that I'm going through right now, uh, I want to do it, like, every day as much as possible. And my boyfriend is not so much into it. And I was just wondering, uh, you know, we both have a great time when we do do it. Um, is it, could it be the age difference or is it, is it like, like some outside problems or what? Maybe he just thing? doesn't like you as much as you like him. Pardon? Maybe he doesn't like you as much as you like him. Hmm. Did you ever consider that? Um, no. Of course you didn't. Really good to me. The fact that he's good to you doesn't mean, <laughs> you know, the fact is, if he doesn't want to have sex with you that much, he's not into having sex with you as much as you're into having sex with him. Hmm. Okay. You know, people try to find these complicated answers to simple problems. Mm-hmm. As I said earlier, what does it mean if a woman says, I can't have sex with you unless you wind me and dime me? What does that mean? She doesn't like sex with you. That's what it means. How about women who say, yeah, I'm not going to have sex with you you rub my back for 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, until your thumbs fall up. That's a woman who is trying to delay the inevitable. She doesn't want to have sex with us. And if you do, that means they don't want to have sex with you? Uh, th- when they tell you, if you don't rub my feet, I'm not going to have sex with you. Uh, they're letting you know they don't like having sex with you. And so I say, uh, do not cater to what she says are her needs. Get out! Doesn't that make sense? Uh, yeah, it does. I'm, I was just wondering, 
Uh, well, you already answered my question right there. Hey, see, you don't like the answer to my question because you want me to tell you how to fix it. Um, no, I just want to know your opinion. You Any don't questions? like my opinion. I don't fully understand it at this What point, is it you don't understand? How complicated was my answer? Well, my thing is just, uh, well, I don't want to make it any more complicated. You already said I would, so. No, go ahead. Let's hear the whole story. Well, I was just wondering, since he's always, he, he's a, a quiet guy, you know. He doesn't really go out much. We hang out at home a lot. And Did he ever like having sex with you all the time? Oh, yeah. He did, and now he doesn't. Um, for like the past, like, two weeks or so. The past two weeks? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing it. So, and, uh, until two weeks ago, you were having sex every day? Almost every day, yeah. And what every changed? Day. Now, then how often did it become? I'm not sure what changed. I would just always uh, dress up for him and whatever he wanted me to do, I'll do it, you know. And, and we'd be into it and he would ask me to do it and then I'd ask him to do it. And then lately I've been having to ask him a lot. And then, So don't you have any communication with him? Yeah, I ask him what's going on. He'll say, well, there's things going on at work or uh, I'm just not feeling it today or some, stuff like that. I just want to know your opinion on that. Maybe he's not feeling it. Or maybe things are uh, not as good as they were in the beginning. Hmm. How long have you been dating this guy? Uh, we've been together for about two years now. Two years? Mm-hmm. And this has never happened before? Uh, no. I just mostly noticed recently. So he's never been busy before? I'm sorry, busy? Yeah, he's never had work to do. He's never been busy. Uh, yeah, but lately it seems like there's been more stress at work. So you're already making excuses for it? No, I was just answering your question. Okay. Thanks a lot, Terry. Get a clue. The thrill is gone, as B.B. King once said. Yep. You'll find it out when it's too late. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Brittany on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going great. Want to know if orgasms are the solution to all these problems? Why are you divorced four times? Uh, darling, is that an accurate number? Yeah, yes, or and I'm going to tell you why. Because I broke up all of those relationships. I did. You broke them all. I huh? did. All of them. Because they didn't just lay on their back and let you do it? No, it really was not a matter of sex in most of those cases. Really? Really. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still a little confused about it because if orgasms are just the solution, I just would think four. It's not like one or two. We're no, darling, I, I, you, you're assuming that an orgasm has to do with whether or not you, you're married or whether your marriage is successful. And I say that orgasm is an important part of it, but it isn't necessarily the only thing that holds a marriage together. There are many people with whom I have spectacular sex, but I could never be married to them. Mm, okay. All right. Just an interesting question for you, Tom. Well, it isn't a very interesting question. It's kind of a boring question because the idea and the way you framed it was as an ambush call. Your idea was to in some way try to embarrass me or hurt my feelings. Oh, absolutely not. That I was your purpose. That was your purpose here, and it's obvious no, in your delivery. Sure. Darling, I've been doing this my whole right? life. I know exactly what you had in mind. I know exactly what you were trying to do. Well, that just from listening to your radio for the first time, it just sounded like it was an orgasm solution. And that was On the, the contrary, I'm, I'm simply saying, that, but that's not what I said. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. Absolutely. If somebody says, I can't have sex with you until you take me out to dinner, or I can't have sex with you until you rub my back, I can't have sex with you until you rub my they what they're really saying is what they can't bear to say openly, and that is, I'm just not that into you. No, I agree with that. I don't think that that's necessarily the case. That you shouldn't have to take somebody out for dinner. You shouldn't have to wine and dine them to. You to no, no, not that you shouldn't it. have to. You don't have to. When somebody says that, it's time to go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm good with that. Ooh, thank you, Your Majesty. Jesus. 
That has a boyfriend, by the way. <laughs> Who was in the background telling you what to say? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Long time listener, first time caller. I love your show. I listen all the time. Tom, I love you. Thank you. As much as a man can love another man. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I hate to. It's my first time calling. I hate to disagree with you. No, nah, I think you love it. I kind of do. You said that women who want to be wined and dined don't want to have sex with guys. That's the reason they do it. Correct. I think the reason they do it is because they don't want to feel like sluts. Please. If a girl, if a girl if a, no, yeah, that is absolutely wrong. You know what? Women don't mind appearing to be sluts if you're giving them orgasm after orgasm. They will. They will do anything and nothing. Whatever you want, they will do whatever you want. Any way you want, anywhere you want. No, you're absolutely right, but they want to. They want to get into that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I have had. I have had experiences with women where if they are moaning every single time, if they are getting off like that, they don't care. They, they. You can order in. You can bring home Taco Bell. You can bring home nothing. They don't care. When they start saying things like that, they're telling you that they're not sexually satisfied. Hmm. Oh, I disagree. I think if you find a slut, she will give it up on the first day. I think most women aren't sluts. We're not just, we're not, I'm not just talking about the first date. In the letter that was written, this was a guy's wife. No. Oh. The guy's wife said, you have to wine me and dine me. What she's saying is... I don't feel sexually satisfied with you. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Well, maybe you should listen more carefully. Well, I just came in. Well, then don't be calling in here when it was so certain of yourself and you didn't even hear whatever we're talking about here. Well. How about you call in and ask a few questions before you get on the air so certain of yourself? Well, well. All right. Still love you, Tom. I'm sure you do. Because I've got big brass balls. By the way, I hear every second of this show. Every minute of it. It's my job. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Eduardo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? I'm doing okay. Um, okay, great. Hey, listen, you, you know what? I think it comes down to ROI. That's what it really comes down to is return on investment. They want to know what they're going to get before they put it out on the line. Well, I mean, but I'm then you have women like the one in the, in the, in the email here. Uh, uh, th these are two married people. Right. And the woman says, uh, the, and it says right here, she wants to be wine to die before every sexual encounter. They're married. So, but. Return on investment. So what that they're married? That, but the point that's is, there is no investment here anymore. So if he wants it, she wants a little. Because yeah, 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 she's, she's not, because she's not getting orgasmed out. So she wants something. Exactly. So return on investment. She wants to get something out of him getting what he wants. So in other words, she's selling it to him. Exactly. You mean, yeah. which means he did the right it's thing by he did brother. the right he did the right thing by getting out. It's a, it's what she's doing is she's selling it to him. It's a business to her. She's not getting it. So either what. way, it's time to go. Would you agree? I would. I, I would definitely agree with you. Anytime a woman says I, you have to feed me, you have to bring me flowers, you have if to bring me candy. To it, you're not in the right. It's business. time right. to go. It makes, no, I definitely agree with you. you know? Get with somebody you got chemistry with, for God's sake. Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Am I wrong here? Tom, Tom, Tom. Like this. Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. What do you have against women? Nothing. My manhood. Future. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like a show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom This all started 
with an email that we received from a listener about his girlfriend's friend. The girlfriend's friend had a husband who she considered not romantic enough. She wanted to be wine and die before every sexual encounter, so the husband finally had enough and moved out of their house on a trial separation basis. Then another mutual female friend said, Hey, <laughs> you're available, huh? And went over and gave him what he really wanted. Now his girlfriend says, I would take every, every, every penny he's got. That, that's you you got to get out of that. But then it uh, kind of moved into another conversation, which is when a woman says, I want to be wine and dined all the time, or makes other excuses about how you, I'm not going to have sex until you rub my feet. And when they start doing that, it's time to go. Time to go. Rich in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Ah, uh, Daddy, how you doing? Doing okay. Hey, I, uh, you have hit the nail on the head, brother. Uh, I was separated from my wife for a while, rubbed my back, wine and dine me, you know, beg on my knees to, to get anything. So we separated. This little gal starts telling me, I've never had an orgasm, I've never had this, I've never had that. And I'm like, well, we'll see if it works, you know, what Daddy says. Uh, it doesn't matter after that, once we got to that point. If it was in my office, in my truck, in her minivan, behind the house, um, the hell with taking her out to eat or not eating at all. I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, it'd be to a point where I'd say, can we talk or can we sleep? You know, I didn't have to do no wine and dine and nothing. And I was just like, daddy speaks, look what happens. Yeah. And it was... Uh, so I say, why even waste your time trying to deal with these high-maintenance bitches? Just get out and get with someone with whom you've got chemistry. I know. The stress level was way down, man. It was awesome. And what that did in retribution, it changed. I'm still married, but it changed everything in the marriage. It all went, it would, it basically mirrored what was going on on the outside. And yeah. so everything's cool now. I love that. So... I love listening to you, man. We're up here in the the, the rough, cold Northwest, but uh, think you can take me out with the bong hit, brother? I certainly can, Rich. <coughs> Lucy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. I wanted to comment on why women need to be wined and dined. I think that women... Well, first of all, you know, all women don't. In fact, well, I'd no, say no, no, no. most women don't. Women. Most, most right. women don't. Right. Well, reason why women need to be wind and dang is because it kind of sets the mood for the woman. But they're just not that into sex. Well, I don't think so. I let really me tell you. It. Let me tell you about the women I know who are into sex. And I'm not exaggerating here. This is based on actual people I know, Okay. Mm -hmm. When a woman is into sex, she calls me on the way to work in the morning, and she's on the freeway, and she wants to know if I've got a couple of minutes so we can have a little quality time on the phone, if you know what I mean. Well, yes, but I mean... That's someone who's into sex. She doesn't need to be wine and dine before that, uh, okay? Or a woman who will have sex with me anywhere, anytime. I've had sex with women in swimming pools. I've had sex with women on the beach. There's no whining and dining there. These are women who are into sex with me. Now, by the way, a woman who isn't into sex with me might be into sex with someone else. But if they're not, if, if if a woman says I need to be wined and dined, that's a sign that it's time to cut her loose. Okay, Tom, can I get a word in here? Well, at some point, yes. <laughs> women need to set some sort of a stage for you know. They don't. Don't all, all need. Them. That you are wrong. They don't. In that you say it, say it correctly. Say say Lucy. Say I Lucy need the stage set. Which means you're not as into sex as other women who will do it anywhere, anytime. Oh, I didn't say anything about. myself i said women in general darling how many women have you dated home. how many women have you dated 
None myself. Then you have no experience in this area, and I, I do. I know women because I know many of my friends, and I know the way. A and woman many of them don't yeah. want to appear to be sluts to you. I'm telling yeah. you that I know women who will call me up on the phone and say, uh, uh, before I go to work, I got to do something here. And then they do it. Okay, I guess they do. I guess you've set the tone some way or another. No, no, but the point is, I don't have to do anything. I'm sleeping. Phone rings. Because I, I don't have to get up and go to work in the morning. I guess... Phone rings. Hello? Are you awake? Good. I, I need to. I just need to hear your, your voice. That's it. <laughs> now, Let's that's that's a woman who's into sex with me. I, you know what? This I is a woman that. who is not going to say, unless we eat at Spago, I can't have an orgasm. It's not about Spago. It's about creating a mood. It could be... It could be yeah, a, a woman who's into sex. A woman who's into sex does not need a mood created, okay? Like, I'm a man. I don't need a mood created. Yes, you do. No, you I don't. Need, yes, you need a woman who looks good. That's it. I need a woman who, who looks... Good. I need that's, a woman who looks... I need a woman a... who no. looks like, like what is attractive. to me and th that's exactly. it i'm and off to the races we don't have to eat it we don't have to eat at a restaurant we don't have to have candles we don't need rose petals scattered over the bed i just need to look at a woman who's hot and i'm in then you need to take into consideration what a woman needs. women a woman i'm needs telling you with you but you're wrong Women, all women don't need that. Women who are into sex with a particular need... man don't need that. Uh, you know, after a few years, they've been married. You said the, the, the writer said that they were married. After a few years, it can get a little mundane. Well, that's, again, you're making my point move. why men shouldn't get married. If things get mundane after a few years, the way to solve that problem is don't get married. Okay, you don't have to get married, but does that mean you need a new bed partner every night? Well, if not every night, uh, certainly you need some variety, yes. Well, after the 10th time, you know, it's going to get mundane. You need a little spice in your life. Uh, you darling, added... let me tell you something. It doesn't get mundane with you're with somebody who has orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. It doesn't get mundane. It <laughs> never gets boring. As good as it is, it tends to get... When you are with a woman who's like a goddamn geyser, okay, and then you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I do. I've got one. one I'm telling you, it, you, it, there is nothing mundane about that. After, you know, after a while, it can. And I, you, I'm women telling you, it, I'm telling you, it, if a man needs a woman who looks beautiful, if a man needs a woman with, when it's breath, mundane, it's time to go. Well, I don't know. Is that the way to go? Is that the way life yeah, is? Yeah, I, you know what? I think so. That's how I feel, yes. Maybe it doesn't say that in the Bible, but I don't really care. I'm an I atheist. I don't think anything about the Bible. I, I, most men are not I don't think you need to be married. I don't think you need to be with anybody until you can't stand the sight of each other anymore. And then you right. have to go to dinner and you have to go to a hotel and you have to go to a hotel with X-rated movies on the TV. Or you have to go to Tahiti or you have to do this. You have to do that. You know, after a while, you're getting a clue here that, the, that you have run the course with this person. Person, and it's time. It's like a sitcom on TV. Shows are funny, funny, funny. First season, second season, third season. By the time you get to the sixth or seventh season, it's starting to look tired. And by season nine or ten, it's time to cancel the show and put another show on. Well, okay. So basically, what you're saying is there's no relationship. You just want to have sex, but these people are married. Uh, but they, well, first of all, they, they shouldn't be married. At least the man shouldn't be married. But they secondly, and, when and a woman says, I need to be wine and dine, it's time to leave. By the way, the guy in the letter did leave. And he was happier after he left. But there are some people who choose to stay in the marriage. They're fools. There are some people They're who fools. choose to get married. They're fools. Is, 
I don't know that they are. You know, uh, I'm well, not married myself, but I don't know that they are fools. They're the why ones aren't you are. married? I uh, know I'm not. Why aren't you? Uh, I'm divorced, and why? I've why? Not to why get are you divorced? <laughs> I'd rather not get into Darling, it. Darling, you're anonymous, so you can tell us why you got divorced. Um, he was uh, having an affair. And why was he having an affair? Because you told him you needed to be wine and dine because things were getting boring. No, absolutely not. Why was he having an affair? He was an affair because of his own issues, uh, the way he was. So the sex that. was fantastic between you and him. It was fabulous uh, no 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 it's just i think he needed uh more he could he can have sex with 15 different women as long as they say that uh they're into him uh-huh but he the point is when you fun. were with him the sex was always spectacular i think you're a really good spin doctor he i'm asking you things around was it spectacular or not uh it wasn't about the sex he had uh, it was for him that's why he went and had sex with someone else that. No, he needed attention. Oh, so you weren't giving him attention? I think that uh, I'm not the type of woman that uh, is like, oh, uh, whatever you'd like, my dear. And there we go. So you were a typical American female who uh, would not give her husband whatever he likes, so he went and found it somewhere else. It was, No, that's not the case. Oh? But, no. No, that wasn't the case. What do you but mean? You, well, because I wouldn't do everything he wanted. No, no, I don't, I'm not a doting. What woman. is it you wouldn't do? Uh, I wouldn't uh, dote after him. That's what does? It, what do you mean by that? Like I wouldn't say, "Oh, my darling, can I get your slippers after work?" Mm. You know, women from other countries do that, darling, and you're in competition with them. Do you know that? No, that's okay. They can have those kinds of men. All right. Well, very good, April. What did you want to say to Lucy here? You know, you know, Tom. I've been with my husband for eleven years. And um, I kid you not, from day one, our sex has been phenomenal. I get multiples from him ever since day one. I've never needed to go and be wined and dined. And anywhere, I don't care if we're in, driving in the parking lot in circles, I will do whatever because I, I don't consider it a chore. And I think the women that need to be wined and dined, it's a chore because they haven't had great sex with their partner. So now Absolutely it's not. A chore. Sex is not a chore. I think sex is something you do because. Well, then you why want do you need to, do to be it. wined and dined? Did I say I needed to be wined and I'm dined? I said women in think, general. Okay, but that's not true because I'm I'm been married to my husband for eleven years and I don't need to be wined and dined because it's not a chore. I love having sex with him. I love pleasing him, and he loves pleasing me, and so that's why we're still together. Well, you know, I don't know. How you you need to get out. You need to be gone. You know, because this is you. You, you're speaking of. I'm not even talking about myself. I called in to give you guys a view as to why but women you need. You're not married anymore enough. because your husband had an affair. Well, don't you think that that's why? Because possibly it wasn't no. all that great. No, I know why. Well, he had why would he have an affair about I mean, me? Any guy who goes out and has an affair is obviously not happy with what he's got. If he's happy with what he's got, he's coming home every night, he's there every night, and he's not somewhere else. Believe me. My husband comes home every night, and we have great sex to this very day, and we are still together. I'm glad for you. I didn't and do you, you ever say to, do you ever say to him, I'm not going to have sex with you, and then you rub my feet? Oh, are, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It's, it's you have to like set the mood. You have to light some candles. You don't have to get in the mood. You have to light you... some incense. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You, you have, have to put have some, to you got to put some Diana Krall music on. <laughs> that's funny to me. I mean, it's like set the mood. Do you know there are women like that, April? They do that. I can't believe it. Well, those women are, most of them. Probably... You got to put some Nora Jones on or some John Mayer. I can't believe they say set the mood. What is that about? What's that the mood about? <laughs> well, uh, it, it's like Anyhow, I, I, I can close. I can close my eyes and imagine I'm with somebody I'm really attracted to. Well, move on then. You know, if you can't have multiples with your partner, move on. Don't sit there and tie up the game. You know, be somewhere you want to be and let the other person be somewhere. I mean, God, if it becomes a chore, set the mood. <laughs> Nobody said it was a chore. 
Well, it it sure mean, sounds like it. What is setting the mood? I don't understand that part. What is setting the mood? You're always in the mood if you if you enjoy sex with your partner. You always want it. No matter what. No matter if you're tired. It don't matter. You want it. There's no setting the mood. <laughs> It doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter. It's you have to tired. set the mood because I'm not really that attracted to you. Exactly. That's what it sounds like. I'm tired of being with you. I mean, if you set the mood, maybe you can convince me you're George Clooney. I mean, and my husband and I have been married for a pretty long time now. We have a couple of kids. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, there's, it's just, it's good. And that's what's, you know, keeping us there. All right. Well, you guys have a good day. Well, you too, darling. April. Lucy, our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Have you got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.